Hubikey infrastructure certificate system. Let's look at the uh, the forward word. Okay, um, digital signature is a process that guarantees the contents of a message has not been altered in transit. Okay, so that's a keyword. Okay, so it's to make sure that the message is not uh, being altered and give a recipient a reason to believe that the message was created by a known sender. Okay. So this is, um, um, we talk about the uh, digital signature. It's just like a human signature, right? Um, however, a digital signature faces security threats. If the public key of the receiver is forged, okay? So public key of receiver. So later we talk about what is public and what's private key. And the information sent is decrypted using private key. The authenticity of a public key used by the receiver determines data confidentiality. Okay, and uh, one public key must be possessed by uh, only one owner. Okay, so let's look at the. Um, uh, so today we talk about. Uh, so uh, the objective of this course is to describe the PKI certificate system architecture and to master the implementation of the PKI certificate system. All right. All right, so we will talk about three things here. Um, digital certificates, PKI system structure, we talk about the structure. And after that, finally, we talk about uh, where do we implement the PKI. Okay. All right, so first we need to get our uh, some of the terms to, to clear up some of the terms. Okay. Um, so the first term that we will be uh, discussing here is called the digital certificate. Okay. Um, sometimes digital certificate is also known as certificate, right? which is signed by a trusted certificate authority. So it's in short, we call it CA, certificate authority. And usually CA is actually a trusted third party. Trusted third party. So here's the word, it says a trusted third party. Um, so for those who are interested to know uh, now, in in the uh, in in this internet, who are the uh, some of the well-known uh, trusted certificate authorities? Uh, you can do a very simple task: is to go to your browser, for example, Internet Explorer, and then you can go to under the certificate um, section, and then from there you can actually check uh, this whole bunch of lists of uh, trusted root CA. We call it okay. Um, so trusted CA using a uh, digital sign signature includes the certificate owner's uh, public key and also the identity information. Okay. Um, so now, what are the certificate types? Okay. So basically, we have uh, four types of uh, certificates. Um, the first one is called self-signed. Okay. Now, typically, uh, certificates are are being signed by the the one that I just mentioned, the third, uh, the trusted uh, third party certificate authority. Um, so self sign basically means um, if let's say you want to use the uh, the, the uh, digital certificate just for private use, for example, for for instance, okay, um, and uh, maybe you have your own Active Directories and uh, you have your own Windows environment, and uh, you you just basically wanted to uh, fulfill some of the requirement by by implementing some of the services, for example, uh, remote desktop gateway or maybe the uh, IIS uh, web server with a secure web. You know, so what you can do is that you can actually um, create yourself a root CA, and then you actually can sign your own certificate. Okay, using your uh, the uh, your own root CA. Okay, so by doing that, you actually do need to pay or any cents to the uh, trusted cert certificate authority. Okay. Uh, then also we have the uh, CA uh, certificate. Uh, this is actually to to verify, uh, to look at the, the CA itself. CA itself. They also have the certificate. Okay. Um, then we also have a uh, local certificate. Now local certificate basically means this is the uh, the certificate that uh, after being signed and then we download ourselves. And then we also have something called the local device certificate. So usually this is uh, for the machine to use. Okay. All right. So let's look at the uh, digital certificate structure. Okay. Uh, and I would suggest that if you guys are interested to look at the real one, 
you can actually just uh, browse to any of the uh, website where you can uh, where you you um, the the URL appears HTTPS for example. Okay, and uh, <coughs> you can actually just uh, you know if let's say for example Google Chrome, you can actually just uh, click on the uh, the the uh, something like this. Uh, there's a symbol, the key, right? And then you can actually uh, it's like a, a lock, right? So you can actually download. Uh, not to say download, you can actually view the uh, the digital certificate uh, online and and to look at some of the information. Um, a typical digital certificate uh, includes a couple of things, um, so including uh, the public key, uh, the name, uh, sometimes you call the uh, subject name, all right, and also the uh, digital signature of a CA. Now, why is there a thing called a digital signature of a CA? Uh, because this is actually like a, a, a third-party thing. So, for example, uh, you have a web server here, all right, and uh, you want your web server to have the uh, uh, digital certificate. So, what you do is that we normally will will generate um, a public and a private key, and after that, we will send the uh, request, a, a digital certificate request to a CA, all right, or maybe in this case, a root CA. So the CA will actually then sign uh, your uh, the certificate that you requested, and then actually send back to you. So when when somebody browse to your website, okay, and then uh, once they connected to your website, um, they actually uh, it's a lot I, I just mentioned earlier. <laughs> if they connected to your website, which is HTTPS, and then from there they want to know that hey, can I trust this uh, website? You know, um, so um, so this is the reason why uh, there is a signature here. Okay, so this signature is actually being signed by the CA. Okay, and how does the CA sign? Um, CA will actually encrypt uh, with its private key. So it will use the private key algorithm to encrypt the uh, uh, the certificate. And then after that, um, so that signature can only be verified. How do you verify? You need to use the CA's public key, okay. CA is a public key um, to verify against uh, this information, this piece of information that from the signature, okay. And CA's public key is available um, everywhere. Uh, for example, as I just mentioned, uh, any browser uh, will have a list of uh, a root CA certificate, okay. Um, so normally in the uh, digital certificate we have version, uh, we have a serial number. Uh, every CA when they generate a certificate, they will have a unique serial number. Um, then the signature algorithm. Okay, so what algorithm they use to sign your signature? Okay, um, so example like MD5 or maybe SHA or etc. etc. Okay, uh, issuer, issuer by who? So usually this is the the name of the CA. And then you will have something called the validity. Uh, so validity is actually uh, when will your wh wh how long does this certificate uh, will last? Okay. So typically uh, five years or maybe ten years uh, depends. Okay. Uh, subject name. Okay. Subject name is actually the uh, uh, the uh, the host name. Typically, this is the host name of the of the uh, the end user okay and then we also have the uh, subject public key info uh, and also some of the extension uh, value okay all right so next we talk about the certificate format all right so basically there are three types of uh, formatted that are supported uh, in our system here three format and uh, usually when we talk about the format uh, we can also associate this with the file extension Okay, uh, so the first format is called the PKCS uh, hash 12. Okay, so this is one of the certificate uh, file format. Um, so uh, the description here is that uh, we can save this certificate uh, as a file with or without the private keys in a binary format. So this is the keyword, binary format. Uh, the, form, the common file extension are typically p .p12 and also .p fx okay now the next uh, format is called the dr okay so this is also a, a certificate file without private keys 
okay so this is the keyword without private keys and it's also stored as a binary format so we we can't actually just read the the, the content just like that okay um, you, you cannot just use any notepad just to to browse the, the content um, the common file extension are typically .der .cer and also .crt so if you come across any of the file with this kind of extension then you know this is a, a one of the certificate file and um, then finally we have the third type is called the PEM uh, it's also a certificate file with or without private key okay and the keyword for this uh, type of uh, file format is that it actually stores as, as a ASCII format alright so now for those who do not know what is ASCII format this is actually a plain text a normal plain text so you can actually open this file uh, any of this file extension uh, with uh, uh, our typical notepad okay and uh, you also come across uh, that uh, the two file extension are actually uh, re repeated so here we also have the CRT and also the uh, .cr okay so you have to be careful with the uh, uh, the file type